In this video, we're going to look at how group policy kind of exists uh, on the system. I have a Windows Server 2016 here. Uh, you'll want to grab uh, an Amazon um, Web Services uh, Windows Server. It could be 2019, 2016 base, whatever. And uh, let's move from there once you have it. So here we are, and uh, we're going to want to go into folder options when we get all this spun up. And you're going to want to show hidden folders. So if you're not sure, if I just look for File Explorer options here, um, under View, we have the Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives. So you want it set up so that we are showing hidden folders. And let's start by looking at uh, C and then Windows. And uh, I think it's System32. And then we have a hidden folder here that's called Group Policy. So let's hit that. Now we have GPT, user, and machine, and you're going to find hardened baselines online that you can kind of import in here. And we're, I'll show you how to sort of do this. Um, machine policy is a big one here, and this is for local policy now. Um, and you can see the folder's empty right now. We don't have anything in it. Well, let's pull the GP edit, and let's just look at the relationship between our group policy, our local group policy editor in this folder. And if I go under administrative templates and I choose all settings, uh, here we have everything is not configured, right? So I'll just pick access 2016. Um, wait, let's do access data across, um, uh, across domains. There we go, there's an easy one that doesn't look like it's gonna shut anything down on us. And so I'll double click that. And we'll go ahead and we'll make that one enabled and I'll choose apply. You can pick any one really. Um, and so now you can see the state of this policy is enabled. All right. So let's head over to see what happened inside a machine. We now have, this is actually, I've modified it so that I can open this in notepad. We have a registry dot poll file and then a comment here. So if I open up this registry file, you can see what this looks like. And that you're going to find these on GitHub that have comprehensive lists of like policies that you can import. But it's not that easy, of course. It never is. Um, and you can see that we've gone in and we are editing a registry setting uh, in a certain way here through this file. Um, we also have a comment that gives you an idea of what's going on here as well. And so these two files are going to work together to sort of uh, allow us to sort of view. And, you know, these things work together is what I'm saying, group policy in that folder. Now, let's say we want to clear our group policy or we want to modify this list that you see in front of us here um, by going into this folder. All right. So you'd have to reopen group policy anyway. So I'm going to close my uh, group policy out here, the editor. And uh, inside of group policy and then machine, I'm going to take these two files where we have that one policy enabled. I'm going to delete them. And uh, then I'll open up uh, PowerShell's administrator and we'll just do a GP update slash force. And in this case, we're clearing group policy on the machine. Um, it would be the same if we had a good file there that was like a secure baseline that we had created. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to look at exactly how to start to create a secure baseline and find some that work. So we've uh, updated this and it says it has completed successfully. So when I hit up uh, gpedit.msc and we come down here to administrative templates and we look at all settings again, um, if I modify by state, you can see that everything is now not configured. So essentially we reset that uh, through the use of that folder. So um, one of my goals right now, and I'm not exactly, I haven't done this, is I'm going to try to figure out how we can start to bring in um, group policy. One tool that I'm looking at right now, just as an FYI, doesn't seem to be super intuitive or like great right now, but it's okay, is the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager. And so if you look to download the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager, you could look up some videos on that. That's a pretty good one that allows you to go in and start to customize um, and uh, sort of back up and create files that are going to work. 
in that uh, group policy folder. So this would be a good research topic here. And uh, that is it. In the next video, we're going to probably look at this uh, in a little more detail and do something a little more useful.